What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over my entire chest rig that I wear on the field every time I go on a play. So let's get right into the intro and right into the video. The rules have changed. There's a fine line between right and wrong. And somewhere in the shadows, they send us in to find it. Watch your six axle. Target is in the main house. You have execute authority. Bravo 6, going dark. Welcome back to the channel. So, it's been a week, but I am back. And today, like I said, I'll be reviewing my plate carrier and my hydro pack carrier. So, both are from Evike. Um, plate carrier, which is right here, I got for $60 off of Evike. And the Hydro pack carrier. Oop, don't fall on my tripod. Tripod. Hydro pack carrier I got for twenty dollars off of Evike. I actually bought them together. Um, I saw them right next to each other online on this Evike store, and so I was like, I might need the hydro pack one day. So I got it, and it actually well, it was a great buy. I really enjoy using it, and it comes in handy on the field at all times. So, how I recommend getting a hydro pack if you don't already have one for your loadout. But let's go over the plate carrier first. So in the front we have three mag pouches. Alright, so I usually only carry two mags and I fill the other slot with like a smoke grenade sometimes. But if I do need three mags I can hold them. So this this works perfect for me. Um, then on the side I have two grenade pouches. So I usually, when I'm, whenever I'm at the field, I usually carry like two grenades with me at all times because I just, I don't know, I just like throwing grenades at people. I just, I'll say that right now. <laughs> I just like throwing airsoft grenades at people. I mean, it's just it's something about it. Like, pull a pin, throw it, get the player. Something about it. I don't know. And then on the other side, I just carry my gloves usually. Um, right now there's a smoke grenade in there, so we'll get to that. Um, so right in here and on the other side, same spot, right on the inside here, you have this Velcro pouch. Um, on this side, I keep electrical tape because you never know, honestly, it comes in handy a lot of times when I'm out in the field, so I really enjoy, I really like having electrical tape at my side. I was actually in Milsom once and it came in handy, like I was able to tape up. Since I run GoPros all the time, I was able to tape up my portable battery to it, to the side of my rifle, and it worked perfect for the rest of the time. So, never know we're going to need it. That's just me, you know, I'm a GoPro guy, so. I carry some extra BBs in there, um, and a cloth, so, jeez. And I carry a cloth, you know, like one of those things you just like wipe off, wipe off your red dot with that it comes with like every airsoft gun. Yeah, I just carry one of those because it comes in handy sometimes when my red dots or my scopes get dirty. I can just wipe them off right there. And other times, you know, I I always carry my gloves in the in the one side pocket, and then in the other side pocket, I usually carry like an extra grenade or a smoke grenade. So right now, like I said, I have my smoke grenade in it. So, all you have to do is unlatch this thing, and then the smoke grenade comes out. See? Look at that. Right. Honestly, you wouldn't even know there's a pocket there. It's like so hidden, but like it's, it's so nice at the same time. So that's why I like it. And I also like this plate carrier because it can adjust to my size. I'm 6'5", in case none of you, in case any of you didn't know that, I'm 6'5". 
and I can just adjust it by these straps up here. So I put it over my shoulders and then I unlatch this Velcro here and this Velcro of course and I can adjust it that way which is very simple. Um, so I like it. Moving on to the Hydro Pack carrier. So like I said, this thing came in at $20 and it's a game saver. I really like it. So in case you don't know what a Hydro Pack is, it's a pouch that goes on the inside of this carrier right there that see how it just sits right here. So you put water on the inside of this thing. Um, don't fill it all the way up to the top though because it may not close. And, and fits right into here. So these clips are actually supposed to clip it in by the sides here. See those little holes there? That's supposed to clip in there, but I found that too hard to get out then when I need to fill it up again, so I don't really do that. Um, but yeah, it fits snug right in there, and then this thing closes, Velcro's, attaches to the Velcro, and then you can also buckle it up for extra security. And then the Hydro Pack actually feeds out feeds the water through a tube out to your front so you can attach it onto your plate carrier or whatever you have or just let it dangling down in the front and you can just like sip the water from it and it comes in handy especially on humid days, humid summer days I really enjoy using this see so yeah, in the back of this thing, actually in the, in the, in the back? yeah the back yeah so in the back of this thing you have this little pouch back here, I don't really necessarily I don't think that's really necessary. I don't even know what it's for. It's, I mean, it's a padded back, so like, it feels good on your back. But like, it also opens up. So you're, I don't know what you're supposed to put in there. Yeah, I don't know. But getting to the front, we have this big pouch in the front as well. So you usually put this over top of your plate carrier like on the back like this and so sometimes if your plate carrier has like a pouch in the back of it you can't always access it so it's nice having this in the back um, that I can access. It's a, it's a big pouch. Um, I hardly ever use it though. I usually just carry like, extra water if I do use it like if I'm on a mil if I'm at a Milson, Milson, something like that, big game event. That's the only time I use it. But other than that, this thing's great. Highly recommend it. So that pretty much wraps up my whole chest rig. Um, stay tuned for next video, guys. It will be a stereotypes video. Yes, I'm in quarantine again, so it will be an airsoft quarantine stereotypes. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like right down below. Just just press that like button. It, it really isn't that hard and subscribe to this channel. It always helps me out to get more subscribers going. You know? That's the obvious. Stay in the obvious out here. Just click that little button. If you're near soft, I'll be here. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see y'all next time.